linear equations, example three. So these ones have fractions, which can be really difficult to work with. Um, what I'm going to suggest is using step three a lot here. And we're going to multiply things to, to solve this problem. So we'll start with um, question A, and we'll, we'll start by multiplying every term by four. Okay. Now the reason we're doing this is because this is just going to fix it so that the we're going to get rid of one of the fractions, right? So you'll see when I write below, that's going to become A. Now A over 5 times 4 is 4A over 5. Okay. Um, Alright, next, 9 times 4 is 36. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to times everything by 5 because that will cancel out this fraction. Alright, so what's that going to give us? Um, that gives us 5a plus 4a equals, and 36 times 5 is 180. Okay, now what we've done is we've got rid of fractions and it makes it a lot easier now because 5a plus 4a is 9a. And all we need to do now is go, all right, well, I can divide by 9, cancel the 9, which means that A will equal 20, since 180 divided 9 is 20. So that one's, that one's solved. A is 20. All right, so we'll look at question B. Very, very similar process. Uh, in fact, the same process. So what we'll do is we will multiply by... 5 to cancel out this 5 and we'll do the same to the other two terms giving us b minus and that'll be 5b over 10 very important that you know that when you multiply fractions you actually only multiply the numerator or the top number or, or in this case prime numeral um, 2 times 5 is 10 all right now we want to get rid of the 10 times 10 to cancel the 10 10 and times 10. That gives us 10b minus 5b equals 100. And 10b minus 5b is 5b, which is 100. And then finally, we divide by 5. And then I think we get the same answer. Yes, uh, b equals 20 again. 